Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might just want to have in your collection. So today we're going to be unboxing my little side. And doesn't it look adorable? Um, and this is a game from Stonemaier Games, as you can see quite here. It's for ages 8 plus. It's, it kind of looks family orientated. It's supposed to take 45 minutes to play and you can play it with 1 to 6 players. Now, my little site actually has kind of an interesting history behind it. Um, so, as most of you hopefully know by now, Side is a full-sized game um, from Stonemaier Games. It's really, really popular. It's got mechs and robots and things, and people like it a lot. Um, and a person went and made a version of it with My Little Pony for their children to play. And people liked it so much they were printing out their own versions. And then Stonemaier Games decided, okay, well, we'll actually print My Little Side, we'll make it for real. Now, obviously, they couldn't get the rights from Hasbro to use actual My Little Ponies, so we've got all these cool-looking characters instead. Um, and I'm delighted to see what it's going to look like inside the box. So, we're going to jump right in now that we've had, like, the history lesson. So, first things first, the box feels lovely. It's the nice waxy stuff. It's really colourful. I like that it's in a ring. There's something about this being in a ring that's very, like graphically pleasing. Um, we'll flip it over. As you can see, it's kind of popping out here. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff to, to unpop. And then the back. Okay, so there's going to be miniatures, which is nice. Always nice. Um, this is the game board. Um, it looks kind of like the side one, which is which is cool. You would I expect it to be a similar game, just pared down. Don't know if that's the case or not. Um, so these are actual size two of each. So we're part of a kingdom, uh, apparently, and we're going to get crispy red apples and magic gems, and there we will meet animals of all shapes and breeds living in harmony. Cool. So this list all the components. It does seem to be a good number of them. The quality of the box here is really, really lovely. All right, so let's pop inside. Inside. <laughs> all right then. So, oh, it's a really hefty box, which is good. Especially if you've got family or small children and you want stuff sturdy, right? Okay, so the first thing I've noticed is there's a little piece of paper that are very, very big. Some compartments are intentionally empty. They are available for an expansion. There is an expansion coming soon. Um, I've been given the news. Oh, wow, this is going to have game trays in it. That's nice. And I like that it has the explanation of how to put them in there. That's brilliant. And here you go, right on the front of it. Designed by Hobie Chow with daughter Vienna Chow. Um, so this was their idea. I really like that that's there. So... The little story tells you what's going on. Family friendly game. You should control two animal miniatures embarking upon an adventure. That's cool. So you have two to control. Sounds interesting. This is nicely laid out. The setup doesn't look too complicated. Um, it's interesting you can play this solo. I think that's kind of cool. Especially the game that's aimed at like younger people. That's, that's nice for them to be able to go and play it themselves and try it. Here's how to play. You move delivery, it looks nice and simple, straightforward, nothing too complicated. They're, the text is quite small, but it is legible. Well, look, stuff feels really nice, actually. What else we got? Oh, apparently there's going to be dice with gems on it. And there are trophies. And then how to win is listed here at the end. Very good. And on the back of it, it says you can want to watch how, uh, how to play video, want the rules in another language, have a question. Oh, that's good. Um, so, yeah, all that stuff. Good rub book. So this is the rules for the autumn, the auto mounty. It's not the automata, which is nice. There's difficulty levels, and this oh this is laid out nice as well. Yeah, there's not too many rules for that, so that's cool. Okay, what's next? There's a painting guide. I like this a lot. This is a great way to get your family involved in your gaming. Start them painting your miniatures while they're young. Might be the only way you paint every miniature you own. Um, so here's the different colors you could use. Talk to your local game store about painting supplies. I think I'm going to choose, I quite like the white Gwendor, looks good. This is like the wider ones in general, obviously this is just a guide. I'll tell you a little bit about them and here's some more. So these are all the characters. Um, I like this, I think that's a really nice way to get more out of your game. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just something you play, it's something you can engage with and art with. There's an achievement sheet. It looks like it opens up. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just that thick. No, it's just that thick. So you get to mark these off. So the first winner with the friendship trophy, the first winner without the trophy, you fill in the date. That's a nice way to keep track of everything and encourage, I suppose, your family to play more games with you. And I am leaning to this towards, you know, being a family orientated game. Now, that doesn't mean you can't enjoy it as a grown up. Oh, here's the board. The board is big. Boards also very sturdy. So far, everything is made of all the really special 
um, awesome stuff that Stonemeyer is known for. It's a very big board. Ooh. So I'll turn around the picture so you can see it, and then we'll flip it over because it'll be exciting. Whee! Okay, so yeah, there you go. You can see the picture. That's cool, isn't it? I really like the picture. The artwork is very, very nice. The board's huge. Okay, here we go. Let's do the flip. Whoop. Of course they flip and it's the wrong way round. Oh my god. I need a bigger studio for this people. Or smaller game boards. Ha! <laughs> okay, it's kind of on your screen. Okay, it's very on your screen. So we we'll move it over a little bit so you can see it on the left. So here's obviously where you're keeping track of your score. There's spaces for cards. I'll show you this up the top here. And then the bottom. It looks like there's lightning cards. In the centre, there isn't a factory, there's a castle. There's these kind of warp tiles around the place, and we've got like a water zone, an ice zone, an earth zone, a foresty zone, and a desert zone. It's quite cute. Over here we have space for here, so space for things that looks like tiles where gems or apples are going to go maybe, or go faster things or cards. And then down here it keeps track of your pies. It's clearly pies are an important stat. Um, it's a beautiful board, isn't it? The colours um, are not as crazy as I had hoped. <laughs> They're definitely colourful, but more muted colour. Now, if I can ever fold this thing back up, it feels so nice. That's a really nice board. Oh, that did not feel good when I did that. Nope, I've just ripped it the tide of trying to fold it. That probably wouldn't be the first time I've done such a thing. Okay, so now, what's next? Okay, so these are obviously the player boards. So they're made of oh they're nice oh yeah they're the weird plasticky not quite <laughs> what's it called linen finish stuff they're nicer oh yeah good stuff okay so here's obviously the things you can do in your turn you're gonna mark them off and your trophies yeah just just the same on the back so we have a number of those okay in the section of things that'll have to pop out in the future we get oh Okay, four things. <laughs> um, so this first one here seems to be like a, their power up tiles are actually listed, listed pie and friendship tokens. Um, I'll pop out one of these. I'll do my rule. Oh wait, see, that's what those symbols were. Space for these on the board. These are lovely and chunky and big and very solid. They're very nice quality. Okay, what else do we get if we go further down? We get more power up tiles and some quest tokens. Okay, so we can do quests. All right, base camp tile. So obviously this is marking where, where your character starts and all the little trophies in various colors. Very cute. Now this is interesting, pie dials. So it looks like we're gonna be assembling a pie dial. So for those of you familiar with Scythe, there is a dial for combat. I assume this is the equivalent, except we're throwing pies at each other, which is kind of cute. Um, and I assume that comes off and you pin it onto this and this one onto this one. Now there's a setup tile, which is interesting. So that's telling you how the board is set up. It's the same on both sides. Yeah, so pie does. Now, I did not know there was going to be game trays in this. So this is a pleasant surprise. And it's got the logo on it. Oh, there's multiple trays. So we'll start with the top tray, because it's got the miniatures in it. Oh, did something fall out? Yes, it did, but it's only a piece of cardboard. Not so bad. Okay, so firstly, we'll just, we're going to pick some of these at random here. We'll get one. Where's the one I like? This one, we'll take them out. These are very chunky miniatures. Like have a look there. They're beautiful, they're really, really, really chunky. That one is actually a slightly different colour than this one. Is that the case with all of these? Are they all slightly different colours? Oh, one is lighter and one is darker in each of the sets. That's what it looks like. Like these are beautiful minis. They're I love how thick and chunky they are. Like they're like they're great for small little hands to get a hold of. Them. I can see why there's a painting guide. I would have preferred were they grey instead of white, but I see where they went with this. And you can see there's loads of spaces here already for all of the tokens. So that was quite impressive. Okay, what's in the next level? There's another level! So this is, looks like where all the shiny bits and bobs are. Okay, can't help it. I'm, attra I'm attracted to dice. Let's have a look at them. The dice with apples. This is the point, please. Come on, dice! Wow, I'm making this look really hard. You know what? I never do one of these without my trusty scissors. I have learned the error of my ways before. I just have a thing about cutting bags when I could just, you know, open them. Whoop. Now, 
Oh, they're nice dice. Come and have a look what makes we all love dice. Yeah, they're lovely and chunky. I like the colours. The colours are really good. No idea where they live. I think they're going to live in here. That looks like you should get all of the dice, doesn't it? Look at that. So then we have the little black things for the wheels that we were looking at earlier. We have some apple tokens. A little disappointed these don't have a bag to go back into, these apple tokens. Because once I open them, they're going to be loose. Now obviously they're supposed to go in the tray, but... Well, we see, and obviously this is the space for my wheelie bit. Yeah. There we go. There's quite a lot in this for um, the price of the game, actually. So if you were to buy this in pounds, right now it's about £31 to buy it. And when you're getting miniatures, this beautiful board, all these pieces. Like, if you had any thought you wanted to play it, I think now's a good time to be looking into it. Okay, so these are all pieces of plastic. Slightly too many, so I'm going to put some in there and then I will show you some. There you go, because my hand is getting full of these. Now, they're lovely and chunky, plasticky. Yeah, they're nice, and they're nice soft edges as well, they're not hard plastic edges. What's next? We've got some blue gems. Oh wow, they really are like little diamonds. That's awesome. I love when a game goes to a little bit of effort because it makes it, makes it so, oh, it's so much more fun for everybody. Beautiful gems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, cool. And then we've got some wooden kind of player tokens which also don't have a bag to go back into. I'm assuming they're wooden. They look wooden. I will open them. For the sake of posterity, at least this one opened there, right? It's not so bad. So also here's your choice of colours. Looks very much like size itself. You know, the original colours. What are they made of? I think they're plastic. Kind of heavy plastic though. They're good. Nice solid -y. So anywhere in this, 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 these are supposed to go? Oh, I see. They're supposed to go here with the colours, right? I can see it now. Am I right about this imaginary bit? I am not. Aha! Look at that. Okay, that's clever thinking. I, uh, game trays are so good when they're right. And as you can see, yeah, there's space here for more miniatures from an expansion. Clever, clever, clever. Planned ahead. I, I suppose, like, sides, this is a game you can just add to. Add more missions into or whatever it is. So this is the rules, the automata rules. So there's the solo set. I'm going to leave them in the, the thing. Because I probably will never play the solo version. Maybe I will if I like it a lot. Uh, but we'll have a look at the rest of the cards. Yep. Because we're right at the bottom. So would you actually um, play My Little Side um, yourself? Have you like family members you play with? Or do you feel like there's, does this even need children to make it fun? Hopefully not. I don't have any of those pesky children things. Um, but I can see why this might be a really fun way to introduce your family, you know, to playing games. Because the way, like, this is technically size, but it's in this kind of different packet. And it makes it interesting. Okay, so the cards are lit and finished. You can see they've got, like, little wands and stuff. And on the back of them, this is all pies. <laughs> Pie numbers for throwing at each other. So there you go. So when you attack people, you get, like, flaming pies. Coolabula. And then the other one looks like it's these little quest thingies. That symbol matches this one. I'm trying very hard to put it back the way I found it. Oh yeah, so these are kind of like the adventure cards or the explorer cards you get in side, where you know you'll reveal it, and you have to decide what you're going to do. So covert critters, you can help the forest, you can play dirty tricks, or you can say no thanks. Um, and so there's a number, a number of these. Um, I wish there was more. Actually, maybe you don't come across them too much in this game. Um, unlike sides where you come across quite a number of them, but they're they're very nice Very nice indeed. So That is everything I think that was in the box. Look how empty it is <laughs> Yeah, obviously there's something exciting coming soon um, Which is kind of cool. Now I'm actually I'm quite I'm quite pleased with what's in that I definitely don't feel like I didn't get my money's worth for sure And I love a lot of popping to do at a later date. So have you tried this yet? Um, I know there's a lot of hype about it when um, my little side first came out and I never really jumped in the bandwagon because I was still dealing with side. Didn't think I needed a smaller version, but you know, times change. And I'm looking forward to giving this a go. It looks like it's kind of light and fun and cute, you know, and that's sometimes what everybody wants in a, in a good game. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. So 
I, you've just watched me unbox my little scythe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, um, why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can hear about more videos I do and they're not just unboxings because I know they're not that popular but you know, I may as well show you what's in the box once in a while. Um, and until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions and prefer preparing some further, you know, short informative board game reviews. Take care everybody. Thank you. Bye bye.